and it's really sunny there of course I'm wearing my seatbelt for safety protection purposes yeah we're on our way to Intramuros and we'll be there in a bit probably in 27 minutes so yeah uh, it's comfy in the back it's really sunny because there's really nice lighting outside. Okay, we're moving. It was just traffic out for a bit, but there. Okay, there's a red light, so we have to stop. There's the red light. <laughs> okay, don't don't mind this. This is just um something. Holy. I don't know what is that's creepy. What's that? It's a monkey. That's creepy. <laughs> that's a really creepy monkey. The antique store? Probably. Maybe. Hmm, I don't know. But I'll see you guys in a bit. Sunny day to go out. I had so much fun. Continue watching and you'll see. My mom paid 
75 pesos for adults, and my mom also paid 50 pesos for students. Come on guys, join me as we explore Tremuros! You know what? We actually saw some pigeons. We were actually offered to feed them. I was really excited, so stay tuned for that. trees i was also able to run around the fountain my legs hurt after that <laughs> also went to Intramuros, but kids were not allowed to go inside, so we just rode the horses instead. It was really fun. class we learned about Forchanchago and also we also learned about Intramuros. Sanchago is the oldest fort and I really enjoyed that class and I didn't really think I'll be able to see it but here we are right now and we haven't been out in a long time so I was really excited to start walking it but after that experience my legs hurt so much when we came home that night so um, stay tuned this is Rai Suleiman Theater. It was one of Fortune Chagos old military barracks. It was converted into an open air theater after World War II. Isn't it fascinating? Why don't you check it out? the old dungeons and I also saw the old theater. Oh yeah, by the way, we went to Intramuros last year. However, we weren't able to go inside Fort Chago. So we just rode the horse instead, but that was still fun. 
The horse's name was Sylvester. He was really cute. The dungeon of Fort Santiago. This was built in 1592 to keep weapons during Spanish occupation. In 1945, after World War II, 600 Filipinos were found dead in this dungeon. And that was a sad fact to know, but also an interesting sight to see. On Yana's day, we went to the Lego Museum and we also went to Rizal Shrine. At for lunch, we went we ate at Barbara's. See you on the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a new upload. Bye, guys!